they're considered impure and lower level. But they will do the dirty work, and then we'll get rid of them. It's going to be a purge. I think that something that people need to know is that we've all been subject to a lot of programming. Not just people like me that are, have been obviously programmed slaves to do the bidding. Since they've established this, I have to call it false matrix, on this dimension, everyone is subject to programming. And it is made to be subtle so that maybe you don't realize it, maybe you do. It's dependent on being able to shut down your higher chakra system. So people need to open those systems up or be spiritually aware, if that is a better term. Open up your spirituality. When you consent with your consciousness to certain types of situations, then you give them permission to use your unconscious mind. And many people don't realize that. Your mind can be used like a vortex. I think the popular coin term is Stargate right now. Your mind can be used that way. That's what they're doing at underground bases. That's one of their major programs, creating vortexes in that way. But every day, people living in everyday life, when you turn your mind off and you turn your awareness off to what's going on around you, you give permission for your unconscious mind to be used. When you lose hope, when you lose sense of purpose, you stop thinking and you stop feeling and you stop experiencing and you give permission. And that's how these things are used. And they're used to bring in a certain consciousness on this planet. And it's a low consciousness and it's something that you're not supposed to be aware of that's happening. I mean, among the more obvious things, you know, using the media the way they do. You're not supposed to be aware of other things going on here. Because if you were aware, you wouldn't allow it. So uh, people need to research. You use your consciousness to get to your unconsciousness. You question authority. You don't just accept something just because so-and-so says it. I expect after people hear me speak that they will go out and research what I have said. You might like what I said. You might not like what I said. You might not believe it, and you might believe it, but please go out and do your research. Go out and check everything out. Use your mind. You have one to use it for. Don't just buy it. It's really easy 
to just buy what you're told. Don't do that. That's how they've taken over. I want people to go out and start researching. Don't just believe it just because someone said this, that, or the other, or so-and-so said it. Check it out, because if it's real, there's going to be more on the subject, and there's going to be some resonance. And it has to be resonance that relates to this physical reality on this planet. It has to be in resonance to what is here. It has to have some reality-based stuff to it. It's moderation. It, things are moderate. I mean, things that matter. There's always moderation and there's a flow to it. It's just not based on something that's just way off in left field somewhere. People, use your minds. That is the thing that will get us out of this. Use your minds. Your heart goes with your mind. Where your mind goes, your heart follows. Where your heart goes, your mind should follow. I have hope that people are waking up. The energy change, people want to be more aware, and I do see that. And this is just the beginning of this age. But it is a, it's an age of waking up. It's an age that the, we have a chance to bring these energies back into balance. We have been dominated by a group that wants to even reject its own female energy and wants to utilize male energy, but in the wrong way. We need to bring femininity back into things because that is the balance. Nature abhors an imbalance, and it will try to balance it will do that if we don't. We need to take control and take the situation back. We need to take our power back. Everyone here can be empowered. And I'm not saying that it's just automatic. You have to work at it. I have bad days. I have days where I'm scattered. I have days where things don't work for me. I have days where I, I don't look like when I'm up here standing in front of all of you. I have days you don't want to be around me. But that's temporary. And I know that. Things always will work out. I didn't know that years ago. And that's why I was scared and that's why I was powerless. And that's why I wasn't single-minded. But I have been through so much. Nothing that happens can ever take that away from me because I found myself and I know who I am and I wasn't supposed to know who I was that was how they could use me and that's how they use people they use people that don't know who they are don't know their power don't know that they have potential have no hope As a country, the United States doesn't know anymore who it is. We're divided. All this stuff is happening. We have lost sense of purpose. <laughs> 